Hi, Mark from NTP. This week's question touches on the definition of terms used within the passenger transport industry that, despite changes occurring some 30 years ago, still causes confusion today. What is the difference between PCV and PSV? Now this information may also be useful to students who are looking at getting their transport management CPC in road passenger transport to help them to get their head round the terms. Let's have a little look at what's what. So firstly, to clarify in real terms, does it matter whether you refer to it as PCV or PSV? Probably not. We all know what's meant, whichever term you use. Now, what the initialization of PCV and PSV refers to largely depends on whether you are referring to a driver's license, an operator's license, or an actual vehicle. So let's take a look at the difference firstly between a PCV vehicle and a PSV vehicle. So any vehicle that is constructed or adapted to carry more than eight passengers, so for example, nine passengers and a driver, so 10 seats in total minimum, is classed as a passenger carrying vehicle, or a PCV. Now this vehicle can be used as a private vehicle, Maybe you've got a large family and you spend weekends driving to the seaside with them. As long as the use is not for business, that is not being used for hire and reward, then absolutely fine. The vehicle as a PCV will need an MOT, similar to a car, which will either be a class four or a class five MOT, depending on the number of seats that it was constructed or adapted to have. So, summary. Any vehicle that can take nine or more passengers needs a normal standard of MOT and is called a PCV, a passenger carrying vehicle. Now, this same vehicle, as soon as it's used for hire and reward, becomes a public service vehicle, or a PSV. Now, in this case, it needs to display an operator license disc in the window, needs a class six MOT, which is a far more strict and intense annual test than the standard MOTs. So summary, a PCV that is used for business falls under operator licensing, needs a stricter class six MOT, and is called PSV, public service vehicle. Now, the operator license is a little more straightforward in that the Office of the Traffic Commissioner only deals with those vehicles that fall under the regime of licensing. So those being used in connection with hire and reward. Therefore, the operator license is a PSV license, a public service vehicle operator license. <coughs> and finally, let's not get too bogged down with history, but when we refer to the driver license, the initial changes were way back in 1992, when regulatory <coughs> changes technically scrapped the term PSV as a driver license category and replaced it with a PCV license category. Now the logic behind it is that a driver needs to be legally able to drive a PCV vehicle. Doesn't matter whether you're using it for private use or whether you're using it for hire and reward. It's covered by the same driving license entitlement. Pass the theory, hazard perception and practical driving tests. That's the entitlement to drive that PCV vehicle. So what about if the vehicle is going to be used for hire and reward then as a public service vehicle? Well, this is where the driver qualification card comes into play. And holding a current DQC, whether that's by completing it with the initial tests when you do the driving test, or whether you've taken 35 hours of refresher training, this is what enables a driver with the PCV driving entitlement to drive the vehicle professionally as a public service vehicle. Often you'll see courses and continuous professional development which refer to PSV and it could be looked at that technically it might be the wrong term but as PSV refers to the professional and licensed side it's commonly used. A person holding a PCV driving entitlement doesn't need courses that are designed for those driving professionally if they're not actually driving professionally themselves. So they're relevant to those driving a PSV vehicle, hence the use of the term. So, really quick recap then. Passenger carrying vehicle, PCV, vehicle constructed or adapted to carry nine or more passengers, driving license entitlement that allows a driver to drive a vehicle that was constructed or adapted to carry nine or more passengers. Public service vehicle, PSV, a PCV vehicle that is being used for hire and reward. 
And finally, driver qualification card, DQC. This is the permission needed for a driver that can drive a passenger carrying vehicle to be able to drive a public service vehicle professionally. So, I hope that clears up the often misunderstood terminology. If you've got any comments, pop them in the section below. Don't forget to press like and subscribe so you know when we release more interesting, useful and informative videos for you. Take care, see you soon.